I'll never forget where I was on September 11th. I was running late for work, and I happened to have the news on. I never have the TV on in the morning, but for whatever reason, that morning I did. When the anchor man first said there had been an attack on one of the towers, it felt like time had stopped. And then as soon as I saw footage of the first plane crashing into the World Trade Center, I immediately thought, well, the Mafia's back. Looks like they're up to their old tricks again. I, I can't say I was surprised either. Giuliani ran them out of Times Square. You think there weren't going to be any repercussions for that? No one crosses the Mafia and gets away with it. I, I was certain the five families were behind this, all teaming up to fight one common enemy. Of course, I didn't really follow the story too closely after that morning, so it took me a while before I heard the official line was that it was Al-Qaeda. This, this led to some trouble with my neighbors in the days that followed. Whenever we'd walk past each other, we'd shake our heads in dismay. Then I'd say, goddamn mafia. Then they'd say, what? And I'd say, the mafia is responsible for what happened to the World Trade Center. Then they'd try to strangle me. I haven't really been able to repair our relationship since. They see me as the guy who was walking around town in the days after 9-11 saying the mafia did it, which, you know, they're, they're not wrong. And I'll be honest, I, I, I still think it was the mafia. They killed JFK and Abe Lincoln. You're, you're telling me they can't blow up some building? I, I mean, just think about it. The flight departed from Boston. You know who was in Boston at the time? Whitey Bulger. Yeah, that Whitey Bulger. And who cleaned up the rubble at Ground Zero? That's right, people in unions. Look, I know the FBI ruled the Mafia out almost right away, but uh, come on, do they really expect me to believe it was some religious wackos 3,000 miles away and not someone in our own backyard? The government was just looking for an excuse to bomb Iraq and Afghanistan. I, I was against that from the beginning. We should be bombing Long Island because that's where the Mafia is. The Pentagon? Eh, well, that one might have been Al-Qaeda. I, I don't really know what the Mafia would have to gain by destroying the Pentagon. It hasn't been easy believing this. My kids beg me not to talk about it. 9-11 is a sensitive issue around here since Branchburg is only about 90 minutes away from where it happened. Now, perhaps if I was from somewhere like, uh, I don't know, Nebraska, my, my theory would be a bit more warmly received. Maybe I'd be given an honorary degree or something, but here in Branchburg you just get people spitting on your lawn and knocking your hat that says, investigate the mafia off your head at the supermarket. In, in fact, the Branchburg Fire Department has me banned from our town's 9-11 memorial. It's this actual steel beam from the towers, and I had been dusting it for the Prince of Mafia made men. I guess some people are just afraid of the truth. The Mafia won't shut me up, though. Although they've tried. I got bronchitis last year. And I know they're just waiting at the barbershop, waiting to slice my neck the way they do. So now my wife cuts my hair on the front porch with gardening shears. She doesn't know what the hell she's doing, but better her than them. Yep, it's all right in front of us. You just gotta put the pieces together. Thankfully, there's a small community of us on Facebook who believe. Well, at least there was, until we got sidetracked and started disagreeing about aliens. Now, at this point, you might be wondering who I am. Well, I'm Dr. Richard Farber, owner of Branchburg LASIK Eye Surgery. We're the top-ranked LASIK eye surgery in Somerset County, and we would be thrilled to have you as our customer. If you repeat everything I just said back to me, you get one eye free. And if you're someone who has evidence connecting the Mafia to the 9-11 attacks, that's both eyes free. Branchburg LASIK Eye Surgery. Don't lose sight of anything.